Get your life together. Get on the alkaline side, God. You didn't come forth in physical form here to suffer. So, today, the purpose of this video is really to talk about kidney health and how important it really is. And as a herbalist, a natural healer, a vegan, and just somebody that's conscious of myself, I really discovered a deafness to the kidneys, my adrenal glands, while being on this particular 90 day fast that I'm on. And I really just came to encourage you all to take care of your kidneys. Take care of your kidneys by allowing them to flush properly, by giving yourself some citrus fruit, by drinking real young coconuts, man eating mangoes. These are the ones that I feel like was really, really important on my journey. Eating mangoes. Mangoes detox the body. Coconut water. I cannot stress. Even in, in as I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here with a young coconut in front of me. Coconut water. Coconut water is so freaking amazing because it's it's like they they dilate the water itself dilates the kidneys and allow, allow all kind of sediments and stuff to come out. If you haven't saw already, I just posted before I went live um, a video showing the beginning of my fast and what my hearing looked like. I kind of felt, you know, nervous about that. I didn't want to share that with the people. I was like, in my judgmental thoughts of my own hearing, I was like, this is a bit much, okay? But for educational purposes, my hearing color while on this fast darkened so much, you know, that morning hearing I'm talking about, because that's where you get all of the sediments. That's where you see all the little bubbles or whatever. You let you let you know if you eat into you got too much acids up in there. You can you because you bubble all up. You let you know if you have like cancer, you know, because you'll see the sediments and the level of sediments. Granted, I'm a good eater, being that a vegan, and I've been doing this for about ten years. My diet's been changed for about ten years now. Granted, I believe that I was the, a clean eater, I still had sediments. I, when I drank my key lime, when I drank my coconut water, when I drank my seeded grape juice, when I drank my mango juice, and I urinate, I can see the darkness of my urine. I can see sediments coming out, letting me know that my kidneys are functioning, letting me know that it's filtering. But I'm saying this to you, and it's so important. I wish somebody would have told me this here when I was younger. It's so important to have your kidneys filtered because it's the backup to your blood. And, you know, in this matrix, some people, if you know who I speak of, when I say some people, will tell you certain things cannot be cured. They will tell you that. They'll give you scare tactics to believe that to be true. But that is for from the truth because there is no such thing as it, it can't be done it can but you got to give your body the right things to heal you got to give your body a break from eating all of the meats and all of the moldy cheeses and all the cow pus and you really got to understand that okay if my nose is running yay that's a great thing because that's letting me know mucus is trying to get out let that sucker run Nose, take care of everything. Get it all out, you know. If I'm catching a fever, that's my body's way of fighting off of an ailment inside of me. Our body knows how to rob Peter to pay Paul. Our body knows how to keep us alive, but you got to give it the right things. And so during this fast, I didn't want to get bored. And every two weeks with my fast, I did something different. In the beginning, it was just like my coconut waters. And my um, citrus um, fruit and my coconut oil, that was the thing that I was consuming to give me my healthy fats, my amino acids, my energy. So that was the only thing I was consuming. Then I started throwing in my herbal teas, my sustained detox. Then I, um, then I went to some other um, revitalizing herbs that I knew that would go to a deeper level. 
now I'm at a place where I've incorporated smoothies. So that means I'm still um, eating a whole bunch of fruit, but I'm blending it in the, because at first I wasn't chewing at all. I was just doing liquids. So I'm, I'm blending it now and I still have my papaya. I was doing my papaya seeds. I did also parasite cleanse while I was doing it. Cause I feel like, you know, I figured like I ain't eating for like 90 days. I might as well go all, all in. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. Um, three, Kareem. That's what that is. Kareem, that bright light in my face. But yeah. And so it was just different levels that I was going through. And then in the levels, in the levels, I realized, dang, my kidneys are filtering at a deeper level. When I would look back at my urine, now in the beginning, I wasn't capturing my urine. But they had some scary urine up in there. <laughs> they had some scary urine up in there. I posted it on God is Just Me channel over here. This here page over here. Thank you for joining me, babe. But for those of you that are on God is Just Be page where I really talk only mindful, I'll give you a sneak peek. And the light might not give it no justice because the, the light might make it seem like, oh, that's okay, that's normal. But this was the beginning. This was the beginning of it. And this was like morning. And then the next morning... <laughs> After I started with my revitalizing herbs and, and getting deeper into my uh, detox, this here was what it looked like. And I only did that for like two pretty two sessions. I don't have any sickness or disease. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Like I say, I eat clean. I don't like candy and sugar and sweets. That's really, that's really Kind of like a healthy person, kind of like if, if, in my opinion of self. And so I'm just thinking like, dang, if mine is like that, because that surprised the heck out of me that mine got so dark. If mine is like that, then I'm thinking, man, prior to me becoming vegan, I was really full of crap. I was really full of cellular weight. I was really full of a lot of sediments that I didn't know. And so... Just in my mind, logically thinking, I'm like, dang, so if I have this cellular waste and I could get rid of it with um, <laughs> with these citrus fruits, then all the while, it's like, we just not educated about our diet. All the while, we I've been brought up wrong, so to speak, because I went on this vegan journey for myself. I went on this vegan journey just to break the generational curses and to dare to do, be somebody different in the family. So I'm just thinking about, you know, the people in the family who maybe wouldn't dare to not eat for a day. If they were to try a fast, if, if, if fast were things that was like normal and we were all educated, we would not have sickness and disease. If we were educated about the fact that we need to chill out on eating, but yet we're educated and told you need to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you need a snack and you need a treat in between. And you need double cheeseburgers, not just a regular cheeseburger. And you need bacon and eggs and grits. That's breakfast. But really when you break in your fast, fruits and berries and melons is the perfect way to break your fast from being, on, being asleep all night. Uh-oh, my phone falling from being asleep all night the perfect way to break a fast is with fruit fruit <laughs> and so and, and you know this is heartfelt for me and the reason why even though i say i never had you know i don't have any sickness and disease in my body when i was younger you know when i was younger i used to have painful periods you know, when I was younger, I experienced people in church all the time that love God so much. They went through so much with the help. And I saw them eating the same way. And I saw them doing things that I questioned and I wondered, is there something different? So when I was younger, the younger me said internally, like, you know what? When I grow up, I'm not going to be like these people. I'm going to dare to research. I'm going to dare to be different. And it's like I spent my adult life, this is why this is a passion for me, I spent my adult life on this journey wanting to better understand health and wellness. Not for, really to be honest, I ain't gonna, hey Molly Mo, I ain't gonna be like, it wasn't, 
it, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't for you all. It was for me. I go through these things for me. It's just so coincidental that I'm in a position now in my life where I can help and share with other people. But for people out there that look like me, people out there that may be going through um, sickness and disease in your body, you don't have to understand how your body works. Practice mindfulness where you can discipline yourself and pull away from those meals that you may be addicted to because something inside of that meal is causing you to be addicted to it. And then learn about your adrenal glands. Learn about your kidneys. Follow my other page. God is just be healthy. I teach all the time. I try at least to share in the midst of me being my own business owner and, and selling my own natural products. I try so hard felt, to share with people. But baby, if you do nothing else, pay attention to the things that you're putting on your body. Pay attention to the things that you're putting in your body via your mouth. Pay attention to the things that you're digesting mentally. Because all of that equates to cellular waves, stress. And stress is, is really a silent killer because it's weakening your immune system while you're experiencing that cellular waves. And it has to be eliminated some kind of way. We talk about chakra pools of energy and spirituality, but you could also be clogged up physically because your chakra pools of energy is out of balance as well. And that very clog that I'm talking about could be right there in your kidneys. You know how like you ever went to the doctor like years ago, I used to go to the doctor because this is like a pivotal moment for me. Like I go to the doctor and they'll tell you, Tell me how you feel from zero to ten. Are you supposed to pick a smiley face or a frowny face, you know, or, you know, a number pretty much. And then you get all these tests done or whatever. Like, you know, I'll go for like maybe ear to bowel syndrome or something. Something was always wrong, like in my stomach area, you know, when I used to have cramps, you know, things like that. Not major, but it just felt like the end of the world for me. Like the first day of my cycle being so rough and all of this. And they'll always ask me how I felt. And so for me, I felt like crap. I said, I felt like internally, like, wait, something is not right. And they'll send you home and they'll tell you, well, yeah, yeah, you're all right. Or maybe your side hurt or whatever. I mean, they'd be like, well, we did the blood. We did the blood work. Everything okay in the blood? But no, you knew something was wrong. And you know, you know what it was? It was the back up to the blood. It was that lymphatic system that was bothering you. It was the kidneys that wasn't filtering. And being that they, they supposed to be filtering throughout your head, throughout from your head to your toe, including your digestive system. So if they, your kidneys, your adrenal glands ain't working, then you went to that doctor, rightfully so. You told that doctor, yeah, something ain't right. Something wasn't right. But they was doing blood work on you when it was an issue that was stemming from your kidneys, your lymphatic system, not draining that lactic acid, that uric acid, them extra fats, all of that mucus that maybe you put in your mouth. All of that dis-ease that maybe you thought up because you was holding on to hate and grief and pain and all of that. Yeah, that's a manifestation tactic for sickness and disease too. All of those chemicals, the, the perfumes that you put on your skin, the soaps, the commercial soaps that you put on your skin, you, you know, you, these little, these little um, exfoliating things that smell so good. But guess what got to filter that? Your kidneys. You remember like when we were a baby and we used to put all kind of, all kind of things on our hand. We used to write on our hand with pens. We used to write on our hand sometimes with markers. Remember when we used to put the glue on our hand and we like to just peel. I don't know if you did it, but I did it. We like to just peel the glue off because of how. How it felt. We used to paint with our hands to just show our little handprints. All of that stuff right there, that has to be processed because the skin is an organ. When you put on it, it penetrates inside of you. That got to get processed. And what is getting processed by? It ain't getting processed by your stomach for, to come out as bowel. No, it got to get processed by them kidneys to come out as sediments. <laughs> So if your kidneys are not filtering, if they don't have a color to them, if they're not sinking at the bottom of the toilet, where you see it almost look like heavy, where it has to go in the bottom of the commode, 
That mean one or two of them suckers ain't filtering. That's what that means. So I'm sharing with you all my journey, and I'm hopeful that I'm helping somebody along the way. You do what you want to do with the information, baby. I I don't make no money for you to take care of your body. I don't give nothing off on. I don't get off no kind of weight, but but that you evolve and you become a better version of yourself. Because when you move, I move. I don't get a brownie point for this here. I come here out of out of love from my heart to tell you some things that I really discovered and I really am passionate about. And I'm telling you, this is a new. I've been doing this here for ten years, and this is a new level for me. My longest fast was 30 days. I've never been on a fast before in my life for no 90 days. Honestly, I knew I couldn't do it mentally, but I wondered what I would do physically. And to be at this level and to see my body purging the way that it is purging, and even to feel it, because if you remember in the beginning, if you've been following my face, in the beginning I was talking about, it was kind of tingly for me to talk. Because it was almost like I was feeling my um, lymphatic system drain right up in this here area to feel my lymphatic system be, to be connected with my cells and my body on a different level than what i used to already was because i talk to my cells and my body i talk to my kidneys my liver i'm connected to me and to know that i it was a surprise to me to even know that my mind would get darker i'm like yeah that's maybe for other people but even to know that my urine will get dark to that capacity it's kind of like wow me I, in the beginning of this fast, it was so uh, sensitive, everything that I felt that I could feel like my kidneys filtered. I could, I could literally feel these sediments falling down my back. And this is only because I took, that, you know, because in the beginning of the phase, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the, de the deep herbs. I was just doing water and the juices, but it's only because I took the time out from digesting. I took the time out from eating. And, and prior to my fast, I'm going to tell you, I, would, I eat like a bird. I was only eating one meal. And that one meal that I was eating was around the sun, I mean, noontime, so the sun could help me digest my food. Because I was really a clean, I am really a clean eater. And so I'm, I'm, I'm saying this. And I keep coming live on this topic because I think about everybody around me ain't as clean of the not judging nobody, but they're not as clean of an eater as I am. So, oh my God, people need to detox. I encourage you to detox. Take a break from eating. If you have questions, baby, I'll answer your questions for free. I ain't trying to get money off of this year. I done already told y'all what I was consuming. If you have more questions, leave them in the comment of any of my video and I go through my comments and I answer the people. I don't ignore people. If time permit, permits, I answer everybody. I just want to see you blessed. I want to see you healthy. I want to see you experience ease and joy. I want to see you in alignment is what I want to see for you. I want to see you out of the hospital. A lot of our people are being destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I want to see you with the knowledge. I'm giving you the knowledge. You can heal your body from any sickness and disease, but you got to do the work. You got to back up off of them steak and potatoes and that heavy stuff. And you got to get back to what even in the biblical text told, told you from the beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. It told you in the beginning that the fruit should be your food. It told you, you church folk that love your supper plates and your chitlins. It told you. <laughs> and the earth was for the healing of the nature. It told you. Now either you're going to pay attention to it or you're going to perish. You're going to perish for that lack of knowledge because that lack of knowledge is going to cost you. And it might cost you your life one day if you don't understand this thing about how your body works. <sighs> What herbs do you use to detox? The herbs that I used in the beginning was mine. I started off with mine. My sustained detox is available on my website, www.sawsyourpublic.org. Then I gravitate. I graduated from that rather to um, um, quit bugging me. Wait, let me show y'all the pictures. Up. So I did two weeks on this year. 
two weeks on this year, this was getting rid of the old fecal matter in my gut. This was because because keep in mind, I'm talking about the lymph, but you got to detox the lymph, the digestive system, the skin, all all areas to get to the nitty gritty. So this here was the digestive system, and it also covered the lymph. This helped me go and do bowel movements number two. This one helped internally heal me, so my skin could become clear too. It helps me make sure all of my pathways will open up because you don't want to start detoxing and stuff clogged up and now parasites dying inside of you and you full of crap and dead parasites because you're going to start to dehydrate the parasites. So I wanted to make sure that all of this here was open up. So I got to sustain detox. My product on my website, link in the bio. Then I graduated from um, that and I started doing a parasite thing. And so I was mixing Quit Bugging Me which de um, dehydrates um, large worms or parasites if I had any of them up in there. I didn't feel like I had it, but I wanted to get the best out of all of my, you know, products and out of the best out of my detox since I was doing 90 days. So I, I would put this here, quit bugging me, in water, a little teaspoon of this here into water and digest it and put about three, maybe no more than five drops of this here inside of a carrier oil because this is the alchemist oil, which get rid of um, larva and the eggs. So to, together, this was taking care of larva eggs and if they were large worms, this was together my parasite cleanse that I did for two weeks. And I actually saw stuff in my bowel, move, in my bowel movements when I did this here. But it wasn't like, it was like flukes. If you know what that is, it wasn't like big things. How that got up in there, I don't know. Because like I said, I'm clean eating. I'm telling all of my business. <laughs> anyway, then I moved on to some um, revitalizing herbs. Revitalizing herbs is something like oh, I don't I don't have it in um leaf form because I ended up blending them because I'm doing teas. My revitalizing herb is in the product called Be the Tea on my website. But this is one of the revive. I was going to show you the leaves, but I ended up blending the darn leaves down to, to nuts. And this one here is called Pavana. Pavana. P A V A N A. And so that was the Pavana um, herb that I was consuming in my tea to drink. And so now, now I just incorporate Be The Tea, which is av available on my website, and the Pavana herb, I rotate between those two. Because those two help to assist the body, and since I hadn't been um, eating, it was like revitalizing my body at a cellular level. So those are the herbs that I took. As far as the citrus fruit that I took, I only consume coconut oil, I mean coconut oil, and I would do maybe, in the beginning, I was doing maybe two to three um, spoons of the coconut oil because I was really hungrier in the beginning. But once I got into a healthy balance, realizing that I wasn't going to eat, by day 40, I kind of like cut back on the coconut oil. It, it takes a while because your body is kind of like programmed too. Your mind is kind of like programmed too, thinking, hey, you going to eat that 12 o'clock meal today or what? What's going on? I'm going to send you a little hunger pain to remind you. And so you, you kind of like battling the mind in the beginning, the first 30 to 40 days. And so outside of the coconut oil, the only drinks that I was having was spring water. And on my website, I mean, on my um, God is just be healthy page. I teach you what I do with my um, spring water, how I manipulate it and make sure that it has sodium bicarbonates and pink Himalayan sea salt, aka electrolytes. Because you don't want to be consuming no reverse, osmo reverse osmosis water or no distilled water because water is hungry. It needs something to latch on to. And you need the minerals to take from the water that you are consuming because you are an electric being looking for electrolytes and your life force through even your water. So it was spring water. It was, um, it was mango juice. It was seeded grape juice. It was key lime aid. These are the things that I was drinking. Oh, and I had some tart cherry, um, tart cherry juice as well. Oh, and coconut water, coconut, young coconuts, the ones that look like this here. 
sometimes I um, had some canned coconut water, but I made sure that the ingredients on the can coconut water had only coconut water. We don't need no more dextrin. We don't need no high fructose corn syrup. We don't need no other acids, no sugar, none of that. We just need the coconut water. Coconut water and that coconut oil, out of all of them, in them grapes, them seeded grapes, if you don't do all of the rest of them, those, those right there, get those in your life. Even if you're not going to go on a, on a fast, if you're just going to be, um, you know, half-assing your life away and just trying to get by, when you go to the grocery store, get you some coconut water for your family. If you go ahead, that's you. That's you and your family. If y'all gonna have things, y'all life, y'all ain't gonna do what I'm telling y'all to do all the way. But I'm just telling you how important these coconut waters are for your amino acids, for dilating your kidneys, for um your 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 electrolyte. It hydrates you at a cellular level. You can't go wrong. Yes, don't get no nothing that ain't got no seed up in there. Yes, liquid sunshine. Oh, I like that name. Don't get nothing that don't have no seed up in there either, especially on the face. You ain't got time for that. You need real stuff that's going to give you a real life force. And so everything that I, I was consuming, even when I didn't do the tart cherry juice, I was juicing, opening up the cherry and juicing it by myself to make sure I was getting a real deal. Get the most out your face. Get the most out your out your quality of life, y'all. Like being in the hospital, it's not it's it's it's, it's not really a, back in the day. You know how we used to wear the little hospital bands. I think that sometimes in life, some people like the attention, you know, from saying, "Yeah, I was in the hospital. Why you didn't come see me? See you like what? Like that at your lower self, full of crap." When you could just simply eat better, why are you putting that strain on your family? Like, like I want to have a good quality of life, not just for me to experience this, not just for consciousness, but also because of the people that I love. I don't want to put that on them. Like, oh yeah, I got, I got to go to the doctor. Who gonna bring me? No, I don't want to. I don't desire at all to be that old lady. That just that's just barely getting by in an old folk home, and somebody have to change and wipe my ace. No, don't put stop as a, as a people, as, as, as love to your family. Take care of your health so you don't have to be a burden to nobody else. Learn about your health. Learn about you. We all in tick to the top. We worry about these relationships with these men and all this craziness about blacks and white people. I mean, blacks and um, in relationships and even the black and white issue. You worry about the wrong darn thing. Get to know yourself. Like I was just scrolling through the, before I got on this here live and somebody was telling me about, she, well, she was on a live and she was just talking about, oh, because when I'm in a relationship, the guy is always this and the guy is always that. They never say nothing about herself. Get to know yourself. Forget about that. You need to know you first, what you like, what you don't like. How is health and wellness for you? How is your mental? Why you, why your feet swole? Why? Why you ain't go to the bathroom today? Why? Why are you full of crap? Do you know that though? Even in even in corporate America, I worked in corporate America for 22 years. These people were so smart. They knew, and I was a senior engineer and transmission engineer. In transmission engineering, and these people knew so much of technical things. But my true passion always, even when I was in corporate America, my true passion always was health and wellness. I wanted to coordinate the InShape um, initiative in the company, right? So I have friends there who were into this technical aspect and I would always be spearheading something that had to do with health and wellness. And they would look at me like I was speaking another language when I would talk about health and wellness. They knew all of the technical things. They knew everything, all of the charts and, 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 and how to read all of the little drawings and, and where this feeder was and this and that and the third, but they didn't know nothing about themselves. It's like, what? Knowledge of self is where it's at. Just like in the biblical text, you see, uh, 
What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What profit for you to know all of these things about, about men, about your job, and about the lady down the street and sitting there on the porch gossiping in, 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 in these Atlanta housewife TV shows and these things that mean nothing and you don't know nothing about you because your soul lives on. Your, your mindfulness lives on to other realms and dimensions. <laughs> okay, I ain't come on here to put on y'all in the end of the interview preaching. I just came to tell y'all, baby, one day, fast, one day, take care of your kidneys, one day, take care of your adrenal glands, one day, get to know you on a deep level, where where you are unequitable, where you ain't got to be worried about what, 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 little, what little sickness going around, because guess what, you know how to heal yourself from sickness and disease, because guess who, who, who really is the herbalist? You, every last one of you is an herbalist for your own self. Guess who really is the doctor, the certified doctor? You. Guess who, who, who's the only person that know how you feel? You. So when you're going to save yourself, that's going to be up to you. But if you put your health in somebody else's hand in a medical industry, huh, shame on you. Shame on you. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Hey, baby. Hey, Erica. All right, let me look at this here. Can't find CD grapes. Yeah, you can. They are for international markets by the Asian people. Yeah, you can. That's where I always find mine. When I lived in Louisiana, they were there at a Hong Kong market. Well, now I'm out here in Arizona, and I found, I researched the international market, and they there. And it's at a Mekong market. Hong Kong, me Kong, get to Kong. <laughs> your stuff up in there. Your seeded grapes up in there. Your sweet tamarind up in there. Your mangoes up in there. Your sour sap up in there. Yeah, you got to go find it though. It might not be right there by your neighborhood. Because guess what? What's close to your neighborhood might be the liquor store. What's close to your neighborhood might be Wally World, where they fighting and, and cutting up. That's how it was in my neighborhood, and I wasn't even in the so-called ghetto, but I was around black people, so ain't no international market was right there around the black people. I had to go driving. I had to go. It take, took me about 45 minutes to get there, but sometimes it's best to get up out of your environment and go where they have what you need and bring it back home. But it's out there. Them seed the grapes, them seed the watermelon, they're out there. I always, every year, for watermelon season, I always find them. People be saying, that, oh, you can't find them. You got to look. Ask, and you shall receive God. Seek, and you shall find God. It's there. I got I got watermelon men in my cell phone from every place that I've ever lived. I find them. And so you could find them. I promise you it exists. I promise you it exists. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on dialysis now. You're the perfect person, Stacey. It's the perfect time now. Even in, in the midst of your dialysis, you could be treating and taking care of you to the point where you get to a point where you don't even need that no more. You got to learn how the things that needs to be put in your mouth to digest properly, to increase your alkalinity of, your, of the body. And I just gave you everything that's on this face is everything that the dialysis patients need. And, but, but at the same time, Stacey, you got to take care of your addiction to maybe what got you on dialysis. You got to eliminate that. And that might be, that might even be something as simple as fish, catfish. That could be something if, if you overindulge, overindulging in that, that could probably be your seafood too now because they have mercury and stuff up in there. In the, in the waters, right? You got to digest that for your kidney. That could be you, just, you. I don't know what your diet is. I'm just calling out some things. But that could be that bloody steak and, and, and the heavy potatoes. You know, that, that could be chitlins. It could be. Or it could be, it, could, it don't necessarily have to be meat. It could be yogurt. It, 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 it could be cheese. It could be milk. You know, a.k.a. cow pus. Like, right? Like, if we start to call that stuff what it is, you know, and, and so that, that mucus got to be secreted. Where that mucus going? Huh? The mucus got to be secreted, too. So when you fall up mucus, and them lymphatic, that lymphatic system get, 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 get tired of trying to save your life. 
It, 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 it always sin prior to getting to that level. It sends signs, but we overlook the signs like snotty noses. That's your body way of trying to get rid of mucus. You remember, um, what they call it? I think they call it, um, sty. You know how, like when you wake up and you got the cold in your eye, you can't even open your eye, pink eye or whatever, sty and pink eye. And then they start, pus start coming up. That's mucus. That's mucus trying to come out of your little tear duck. Yeah. Let's call that what it is. Diarrhea. Yeah. That's excess mucus. That's letting you know something in here. Too much of something in here. And your body is just trying to go into to overtime to save your life. Yeah, you, you probably even you probably even discover when you bruise er, um, easily. Yeah, that that that's your body robbing Peter to pay Paul, taking from your tissues because it needed somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, your body, our body, not yours. Not, I don't mean I'm not coming at you, baby. Stay, say I'm not. This is from love. This is just my passion. But our body always give us a sign. It always the fluid field bumps. It's like, oh, this 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 is too much of pus up in here. Maybe if I maybe if I have these fluid field bumps on her face, and maybe she'll notice. Maybe maybe if her teeth start getting a little her weak in, in in her gums or compromised and so acidic, maybe maybe she'll notice. Maybe that cavity, maybe she'll notice that because that means okay, there's too much of acids in here. Help, help, help! I'm sending you SOS. Maybe she'll notice. Maybe she'll notice because she didn't go to the bathroom. She didn't use, she didn't have a bowel movement in, in what, about seven days. Maybe she'll notice, oh no, she didn't notice because she's so busy paying attention to what's out there and she didn't get to know herself just yet. And so now we got to go deeper. We got to tuck this here to save her life. Oh my God, she's eating again. You know, that, that, if I were to talk, you know, and express, if I were to be the voice of the body, oh my God, she's eating again. Oh my gosh, how are we going to digest that? Oh my gosh, she was up all night. We kept her up all night. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't sleep. Maybe, 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 maybe she, she'll, she'll start off better. Oh no, she's drinking coffee. She's drinking coffee. More acids, more acids. And we, we, we overburden with the acids in here. Oh my gosh, she's drinking a soft drink. High fructose corn syrup and acids. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's going to the doctor today. She's going to the doctor. Oh, surely the doctor is going to help her. Oh, the doctor just told her she has cancer. Oh my gosh. So the cancer is, uh, is acidic already. Surely she'll, she'll start being alkaline now. Surely she'll start. No, she's signing up for chemo. That's more acids. Oh my God, more acids. How are we going to ever save her life? Maybe if people start talking to you like this here before you get to the cancerous state, so before you get to flat line, which is zero, cancerous state is kind of like a three on the pH balance. Zero is flat line, baby. You are out the physical reality. Get your life together. Get on the alkaline side, God. You didn't come forth in physical form here to suffer. You didn't. You came for for a great quality of life. This is supposed to be fun, but you turning it into a nightmare because you can't control what you put in your mouth. You can't control those those negative thoughts. You can't control. You gotta always have. You gotta always be putting perfume all up. Why you can't put that perfume on your shirt? Huh? Why why you gotta put it on on your neck? Right there, where, where your lip noise at? Why are you doing that to you? Why are you wearing antiperspirant, clogging up your underneath your own pit, God? Are you a pig? No, because that's the only thing I can think of that holds on to its toxins and don't release it. You are not a pig, you're God. Allow yourself to sweat, God. Allow yourself to release. Don't sit there in the physical reality and be full of crap all your days. Let some of that crap out of there. Let it out of there. I help you with love. I help you. You know, on one of the church, you know, y'all know I came up in church. And so I used to have to go to church all, all the time, all the time. And, and on the billboard for a long time at the church that I went through, that I went to, it said, hurting people need a healing Jesus. Hurting people. And I just said, look at that. Every time we leave out the subdivision, hurting people 
me to be in Jesus. Now that I am spiritual, I think about that billboard all the time. And, but I think differently about what, what was put on there. It's just that hurting people need to become their own Jesus. Hurting people need to become their own savior. Because you have everything that you need. And you are the Christ conscious one. You just don't realize it just yet. But you're your savior. Stop looking out there though. And save yourself. All right, I'm about to wrap this year up because it's getting late. I don't normally come on late late night, dick to the top when they hip dressing and stuff because I be doing my little herbal teas and, and, and relaxing. Oh, thank you for the hearts, Elita. Thank you, Molly Mall. I give my seeded watermelon off a truck every summer. Yes, yes, I know that's right. I know that's right, Liquid Sunshine. I get mine off the truck too. I got to find somebody out here in the desert since I'm new here. I've just been here for about seven months. But I got to find somebody out here. And surely they got a truck out here. And I'm going to get his number just like I got every other watermelon man number. Because the watermelons help to clean out that, them, them kidneys too. The lady with the dialysis that was on here, if you're still here, when, when watermelon season come in roughly about uh, June, you need to be on them watermelons. Matter of fact, when you get you a watermelon, when we get to that season, you got to get to a place because melons ought to be eaten by themselves. Just in case you're not educated on that just yet. Melons is, that's it. Just eat melons by itself because melons already a super food by itself. Watermelon will clean out your digestive system. When I get watermelons, I get about two or three of them things. And I know in my mind, this is, this is not me fasting. This is just me on the regular. This is how I live my life. I know in my mind, that's going to be my, my meal today, that watermelon, the seeded watermelon. I swallow some of the seeds too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I swallow some. I just, it's almost like I'm just putting it in my mouth, closing my, my little cheeks together and squishing that thing and swallowing that thing. Watermelons are so good for your digestive system, for your liver and your kidneys. Watermelon will flush you out. Get you some watermelon. Stop being lazy and saying, oh, I want the one without the seed because I ain't got time for the seed. Swallow the seed then. You need that seed. That seed, that seed is, is, is setting for a new life. You need to swallow that seed. Ain't nothing going to happen when you swallow that seed. <laughs> Besides it being more beneficial for you. Besides it getting rid of some more of that lactic acid and that uric acid build up for you and that mucus for you. It ain't nothing. Nothing. Stop buying that stuff that don't support you, especially if you are a melanated being who is, 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 is deeper to penetrate with you. <laughs> the genetic makeup of your body is a little bit different and you need seeded things. All that GMO stuff ain't going to work with you. Stop fooling with the GMO. Go for the real stuff. Go for the gangster stuff that's going to save your life, that's going to quicken you and electrify your body. Okay? I don't want to sound like I'm fussing at y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all so much and I'm so passionate about this here. I'm so passionate about it. This is just my passion. I ain't fussing at nobody. Hi, what's your website address? It's in the bio. If you click on my picture, it's in the bio. But it is www.assaultoftheearthpub.org. Everything on my own, I know it's from trauma and I'm now aware of it. Now that you're aware of it, young, do something with that awareness. Don't stay in that same spot. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at my other channel over here. God, is just be healthy before I go. Hey, I'm at a point where I don't speak up about my health, mental, keep things in, and trying to fix. Well, no, um, you got to speak your truth, though, because that's still equivalent to you clogging up your chakra pools of energy. And I used to be me. I used to be a little introverted person. I'm still, I kind of still get my um, alone time, and I enjoy the lonely moments in my life. But I'm a healed introvert, and I know that that is deeply rooted with your root chakra or something you went through maybe when you were younger, some abandonment issue type stuff, because that's when we, when a little girl or little boy inside of us become mute and keep stuff to themselves. We be, we be holding stuff all underneath layers, you know, and we'll call ourselves, you know, introverts. We'll call ourselves shy and this and that third. No. Your throat chakra, your cells in this particular region are alive 
and they want to express themselves. And so you're not allowing them to live is, is aching to you saying, I'm casting them away, right? But the only thing that's going to set you free is your truth. The truth shall set you free. And so from the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. So sometimes it be that our heart, because of our trauma or whatever, that we were abandoned or whatever, we guard up our heart and then now we don't want to talk to nobody. So it's like we put in our hands around the heart and we share it in our mouth all because of trauma. Baby, start talking. But if I, were to, if I was to encourage you or consult with you, I would say we need, we need to practice opening up that heart chakra first because love heals all, baby. And love from the heart, it's powerful enough since it's an electromagnetic field of energy to open up all other chakra pools of energy. So in just reading that comment from the choice words that you selected, that trauma needs to be healed because the trauma actually... <laughs> actually can create further sickness and disease for you if you guard that heart, if you keep that chakra pool of energy closed. Because now you're going to be out of balance if, if that chakra energy closed. And for me, what happened in my physical reality because I kept mine closed is it, is it showed itself in the physical as thyroid issues because I ain't want to speak my truth. But now I speak my truth. <laughs> you see me, huh? Because I've healed that part of myself. And I want you to heal that part of yourself too and stop saying those different things about yourself. You came forth in physical form to be able to express yourself. Every level of self, from the crown of your head to the toes of your feet and every chakra pool in beneath, I mean in between. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, babe. But I get it all. I get it all. I offer consultations on my website. You are so welcome, Z. I got offer consultations on my website if you need um, to talk to somebody, though, babe. But open up that heart chakra, even if it means that you get you some rose quartz and you just hold up rose quartz crystals. You know, you can start with crystals if that's what you have readily available to you. You could even start with rose um, essential oil. The smell of it, the memory of it will bring you back to the state of being where you remember when your heart chakra is open because keep in mind this is not your first lifetime you've been here for eons and eons and eons and in this lifetime maybe the heart chakra is closed because you were on a assignment to learn and grow in that particular area but you can always tap into your subconscious mind which knows all things and it'll bring forth a memory when your heart was open outside of that i would encourage you also to begin to pay attention to the things that you do love to open up that heart chakra to heal from that trauma with everything that you love and i would say for for me it was like little babies it was like birds it was like beautiful sunshiny days and falling in love with the sun fall in love with nature fall in love with something find something to love i don't care what it is music whatever love it talk about it and get fully involved in it and when you wrap yourself up around love Love is going to heal you because love heals all. Love is going love to heal you from that trauma. Love is going to heal you, baby. I promise you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Um, I love your accent. <laughs> hey, love. Hey, love. Alchemist. I love your name, too. Thank you. I appreciate that, baby. Let's see. Where are you from? New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, okay. What about the Pisces? Oh, yeah, I didn't mention that. That was another thing. And a matter of fact, I got something in the refrigerator now because I bought some papayas from the store that did. Papayases, they help tremendously. I did them when I was doing my um, parasite cleanse in conjunction with that when I was talking about the Quit Bugging Me and the Alchemist Oil. Well, yeah, those, I only did the papaya seed for like three days because I had only bought like um, two papayas. And um, that's how much uh, seeds that I had, and I had to, sh and I was sharing at that time with my mom, and so we were eating papaya seeds to help with um, parasites as well. They're really good for the body. I did a um, tablespoon of the papaya seed. I even did a video on my Goddess Just Be Healthy page when I was down in them nasty papayas. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, papaya seeds are perfect. Can you name the baking soda you use? Yeah, I can name it. It's Bob Red's Mill. That's on my other... Y'all need to be on that other page over there. Oh, that's um Ladybug. Yeah, it's on my other page. God, it's just be healthy. It's called Bob Red Mill. I gotta go get the bag. It's right here. Let me get the bag for you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. I got it, I got it. So you 
don't know what it looked like. <sighs> it looked like this here. It's Bob's Red Nail Baking Soda. It's the purest form that you could put in your water. And I'm talking about a pinch. I'm talking about a tiny like it's like my, you microdose it in your bottle of water. This my little this my tea right here, y'all. Like you see you have this here, you know, size water was just like 16 ounces. And you just get in a pinch of this and a pinch like this here of pink Himalayan sea salt. And you um you are making your water more alkaline. You are electrifying your water because um, pink Himalaya sea salt has electrolytes inside of it. This here is antifungal, just like when you put the almond ham in the refrigerator, it gets rid of germs and stuff, it odors and everything. It's going to be doing the same thing to you in you. So it's multiple reasons why you should incorporate that in your water and it's less expensive than if you go and buy those Evian waters and all of that. You making basically you making your own spring alkalizing water and i'm telling and sharing that with you because i've been doing this here for years and i've tried all of the waters and i did all of the water quality test reports i and i concluded you know what give me some spring find you a bottle of spring water from in the stove and you just you just make that thing you transfer that thing into the alkaline water for your family that you need so when i get my cases of this here little spring water i open up all of my little bottles and i i micro dose all of them with some um, buy bread meal um, baking soda. I microdose all of them with pink Himalaya sea salt. Put the top back on them and put them in the refrigerator. And bam, everybody in the house when they go get a water, yeah, your water open. But my children used to, they know that I I put all kind of stuff up in their food because they still eat me. <laughs> they still eat me. So they used to me having, you know, open bottles of water. They just know I ain't drink out of it, but they know I done did something, but they just trust it. <laughs> Cause they, that's just where they are in their journey. And I'm not trying to, you know, change them for what they, where they are. All I do is educate them. And I, I do my little magic with their food, especially when they ask me to eat. I mean, to cook them something to eat. Oh, you, 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 you getting some sea moss in your food. You, you want me to eat? You getting some sour sop? You want something out that refrigerator? Oh, you, oh, you getting the herb? <laughs> Cause I know too much to not put stuff in they food. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, New Orleans. Sounds like Jamaica. Oh no, not Jamaica. Let's see. Okay, because I can listen to her and hear the South too. Oh yeah. Yeah, the South. I love New Orleans. It's like a second home to me. Yeah, I got tired of the hurricanes though, so I left up out of there. Yeah, and 528 hertz. Yeah, the love frequency. Yeah. They uh, use love first and Dion. Oh, look at the men showing up. Hello, hello, Dion. Took a screenshot. Yo, good. That was perfect. Okay, so let me see. Thank you. I'm in tears. I'm gonna open it and I'm working on the consultation. Oh, okay. I look forward to talking to you, young. All right, so okay, I answered all that. All right, like I said, I don't normally be here um, at nighttime on TikTok, so I'm about to call this here it but i just had to come on and tell you all the importance of taking care of your kidneys and kind of like show y'all my little urine because i was surprised at me and so if i got dark urine like that then and i'm eating as clean as i am there's always moments in my life now that i'll pay more attention now i've learned so much from this 90 day phase about myself and my body about my mindfulness and I just encourage you to pay attention. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving it to you for free. I just want you to be healthy. That's all. I want you to be a better version of yourself. That's all. And crystal, like, yeah, yeah. It don't matter. Just as it don't matter. Crystal geyser, spring water. It don't matter the kind of spring water. Just as long as it is spring water. What I'm saying here. Just don't get no distilled water. Don't, 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 don't get no reverse osmosis water. Don't try to die on that. That's hungry water. That's look, the, that water is looking for minerals. So when you urinate with that water, it's pretty much stripping, when it go down you, it's stripping you because it was hungry to begin with. So you need water that already have something in it so it could leave you substance. It could leave you electrolytes. 
It could leave you that 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 the sodium bicarbonates because keep in mind your gut, the integrity of your gut needs these things. You need them salts because they are helping you to produce your hydrochloric acid. And outside of the barrier of your stomach, you need that sodium bicarbonate because it's the buffer of your stomach. Matter of fact, if you didn't have sodium bicarbonates buffing your stomach, the acids inside of your stomach will be burning your chest and your back because you couldn't even put your hand inside of there without it melting and trying to dissolve so what i'm saying here is pretty much what's necessary and needed in in your drinking water it's just unfortunate that sometimes the water is so expensive it'll cause you an arm and a leg but if you go to the store if you have time next time you're in the grocery store look at the evian water Turn it around, look at the ingredients on the water, and you'll see sodium bicarbonates. Look at the ingredients on the water, you'll see, and it'll show you the that it's slightly alkaline. It'll show you on the back. It'll show you, it'll show you sodium bicarbonates, and I think they say on there some kind of way, um, electrolytes. I'm thinking. But that's what real spring water is. It's spring water that includes sodium bicarbonate and pink Himalayan sea salt or healthy Celtic salt that have 80 plus minerals inside of it instead of white toxic salt that leads to blood pressure and all. So you need that. You you need that life force. That's your juice. That's your superpower, God. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't steer you wrong. I have a transformation course that um, I put together during near like um, seven years ago with this information available on my website and it's still consistent. It's still the same information. And I'm giving this year information to y'all for free. Because we've gotten into a place in a journey where we are so chaotic in our energy and in our eating habits that I'm like, hello, people. Hello, people. All people. <laughs> Let me tell you this. You know? So, in any case, this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be easy. Easy on your body. All right? Be easy on yourself, the cells of your body. I'm about to get up out of here and call it a night. Get you some young coconut water. Get you some young coconut water. You won't regret it. Your kidneys will love you. Okay.